the savvy businessman. Ashley, I know you've dated a number of A-list celebs before Liam. So, are you seeing anyone now? No, no, I'm not. Um, you know, I'm actually starting to wonder if we made a mistake ending things when we did. Allison, I'm gonna need a new muffin, and if you could please set up an appointment with Liam tomorrow, make sure he comes alone. love story about people connecting for real. Well, I have always had a crush on him. Aww. Yeah. And when we were nine, I... Does it say sexy and mysterious? No, this is Mardi Gras, not masquerade. Oh. What about this? Hey, will you look at this, please? Okay, when Ashley takes Liam's hand, does he look at her in an adoring sort of way or a how was I ever with you kind of way? No, we're not doing this. And between that interview and the dinner date, you're gonna go crazy. You're right. It is beneath me. What dinner date? No, 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 no. You are not leaving here until I hear every detail up to and including what Ashley ate for dinner. Okay. What? I did not authorize this date. Oh, look, right there. That is the look of two people falling back in love. Oh, God, Sam, I created a monster. What did you think would happen? Haven't you seen a romantic comedy? On the plus side, I read the book. Oh, really? No, just the first and last chapters. Sam! Back off, I have a party to plan. But seriously, do you think he wrote that about you and not Ashley? There are direct quotes, private conversations that I had with Liam. He just created a different love story for us. If you say so, she just... Seems so nice, but I guess it is a work of fiction. In that case, I do think Liam still has feelings for you, especially on page 525. <sighs> His feelings could be slipping away. He did write that a while ago, so you should figure out what you want before he figures out he wants someone else. Oh, and uh, she was eating a fig and arugula salad to an aphrodisiacs. <laughs> 